Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Vanguard is obviously here now for everyone. We are all starting on square one at rank one with nothing unlocked. And we are all on that grind to whether it be max rank or getting all the weapons max level. They're getting the final camos, the mastery camos, whatever your end goal is. We're obviously all starting at square one together. And so there are a ton of players sitting here going, well, what is the best way to rank up fast? What is the best way to get a ton of XP in a very short amount of time? And today I wanted to break down just that the best tips to level up fast get the most XP in the shortest amount of time and ultimately get towards those end goals a little bit faster. There's quite a few things we can go over today, including some secret things that I don't really think all that many players actually know about. So as we go through it all, if you enjoy the video at any point, or if you find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it, it would be seriously appreciated. It really does help grow the channel. And of course, if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed, this is the place to be for everything going on in COD, for news, updates, tips, loadouts. It is all right here every single day. So feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. Also right now, Code Immortal is still boosted to 30% off on all G Fuel products. So if you wanna grab anything there, now is the best time to do so, thanks to that increased discount. So first up, when it comes to getting more XP faster and easier, there's a very simple tip utilize your xp tokens very basic very straightforward here uh, if you have xp tokens whether they are regular double xp tokens or if they are weapon xp tokens use those to your advantage pop them right before you're about to jump into a game capitalize on them while they're active you know they do count down on the menu so make sure you're constantly going into games and using them for actual gameplay not wasting them and obviously those are going to help out immensely when it comes to that overall xp grind uh, like i said very simple one but it does help out uh, next up challenges these are going to be your best friends and especially because we are all starting out here brand new accounts all level one there are so many different challenges to go in and complete and for doing pretty much all of them you're gonna get some xp bonuses at first they might be a little bit smaller you know 500 xp here 500 xp there but then they're going to gradually increase to a thousand xp here and there 1500 xp 2500 xp so on and so forth and for the most part, a lot of them really aren't all that difficult. Uh, even when I was playing the game a little bit early with some other creators and streamers and whatnot, we only got to play for a couple of hours at a time, and I was getting quite a few challenges done for just simply playing the game normally. If you were to go out of your way and directly go after specific challenges, you're gonna complete them in no time. Most of them are very simple and very straightforward and ultimately are gonna give you some very basic and free XP for doing next to nothing in games. So challenges, whether they are for your gun, for just, you know, overall progression are gonna be super helpful in grinding out even more XP when you're just playing regularly. Now, moving on from that, another pretty simple way to get not a ton of XP, but some free extra XP nonetheless, is to go after certain types of kills because different types of kills actually offer some bonus XP in game. Now, this can be simple things like headshots. Those give you a little bit of extra XP. Things like double kills, triple kills. Those also offer some extra XP. Uh, going on, you know, five kill streaks, bloodthirsties, mercilesses, 10 kill streaks, so on and so forth. Those are also going to give you XP bonuses at higher increments the more you're doing better in game, right? So if you're going on a 20 kill streak or a 20 gun streak, that's going to give you a lot of XP bonuses over time. So while they might seem like some smaller bonuses right then and there, like, yeah, you get 10 extra XP for doing a headshot or something here and there. Over time, that's going to add up and it's going to be quite a bit of XP by the time you're done with that overall grind, right? So, uh, you know, Kingslayer medals, taking out, you know, the top player on the enemy team, revenge medals, all sorts of stuff like that does equate to XP in game. And a lot of the time, just like with the challenges, it's not for going out of your way to do extra things. It's just for playing the game and going after the best gameplay possible. Obviously, that's sort of the ultimate end goal for everyone. We all want to play the absolute best that we can every game. So uh, just by playing that way and, you know, going after the challenges and going after those certain types of kills, which a lot of the time will just happen naturally in gameplay, that's also going to give you some extra and some easy XP. Then something else that is brand new here in Vanguard that is especially useful if you're looking to grind levels and, uh, you know, rank up fast is changing your operator frequently because every single operator in the game can be leveled up individually. You'll unlock new outfits and different things for that specific operator. But alongside that, all those different unlocks have challenges associated with them as well. So going back to the whole challenges for XP tip, it kind of works the same way here, but it's something you can sort of abuse and reuse time and time again with all the different operators that we have available here in multiplayer. So, you know, once you're done with Kingsley, go on over to Beatrice or go on over to a different operator. They all have different challenges. They all have XP bonuses associated with them. And by doing those, that's even more free XP that wouldn't be there if you didn't go out of your way to do them. 
Now, sort of right alongside the operator challenges, we also have a ton of different weapon challenges as well, specifically when it comes to camos. There's a ton of different camo unlocks for every single weapon in the game, and doing those also grants some XP. Some of them are going to be a little bit more monotonous and, uh, and tedious than others. Things like the overall total eliminations or headshots or uh, multi kills, for instance, those are going to happen naturally. Those really aren't all that difficult. There are, however, some uh, some other ones that are going to be a little bit more time consuming. So if you're really trying to min max here, going after those easy camo challenges and those natural camo challenges will probably give you the easiest amount of XP in the shortest amount of time. But in the end, doing as many different camo challenges as you can is going to net you some pretty solid XP by the time it's all said and done. Now, like I said at the start of the video, there is one specific sort of secret tip here that I don't think many players would think of when it comes to, you know, getting the most XP as fast as possible. But I sort of accidentally discovered it when we were playing a little bit early. Uh, Champion Hill is absolutely insane for XP. I don't know why, but when we were playing, good grief, I was flying through weapon levels, I was flying through regular levels, just because we were playing and winning in Champion Hill. I think we played some trios. It was myself, uh, Espresso, and then also Corey, your Ink Slasher. And we uh, just dominated the lobby, right? Like we won the entire tournament. I think I dropped like 26 kills and got over 40,000 XP, tons of weapon XP. And it really wasn't even all that much work. Like, you know, in a regular match of TDM or Kill Confirmed or Dumb, I, I would consider a good game to be, you know, 40, 50, 60 kills and, and higher. In Champion Hill, 26 is like a pretty solid number for trios, uh, but it netted me way more XP for the amount of time that we actually played. So if you're someone who can adapt to those smaller maps, then also adapt to using those weapons that aren't necessarily your go-to preferred class setups, but instead the random individualized weapons that you can select from the buy station with the different attachments that you upgrade them with, you can really seriously get a lot of XP done very, very easily. Of course, it does depend on you getting a good amount of kills and winning those matches. Personally, I would recommend playing Champion Hill trios or higher. Uh, duos, it just has a lower kill potential. Trios is really, really good just because there's more kills and more lives in there for you to potentially utilize and capitalize on. But yeah, for whatever reason, the Champion Hill XP is utterly phenomenal and one of the best ways to rank up weapons and your overall character rank extremely quickly. Then tip number seven here is going to be another pretty basic one, pretty simple one. Uh, but just like some of these others that we've covered already, it might not seem like a ton of XP up front, but over time, it's really going to accumulate into a much larger number. That is simply playing the objective, whether that is planting or defusing the bomb or capping flags or uh, spending time in the patrol or the hard points and getting kills there. Simply playing the objective is just extra XP on top of any kills or on top of any match bonus or wins you're getting already. And it really doesn't hurt you in any way, shape, or form. So as simple and straightforward as it is, yes, playing the OBJ and getting after it is going to net you some more XP over time. Then finally, tip number eight is going to be one that's sort of a niche one, but it is going to help out specifically when it comes to weapon XP. That is partying up with your friends, specifically on PlayStation. Unfortunately, there is still some console exclusivity going on because of the contract between Sony and, uh, and Activision, but... At least this year, we don't have the whole exclusive mode like Onslaught, right? Simply though, this year, it is uh, some, some basic stuff like extra creative class slots and whatnot. And also, if you do party up with your friends on PlayStation, everyone in that party gets an extra 25% weapon XP per match. So if you're trying to level up weapons quickly, that could be a pretty solid way to actually uh, really min-max that in many different ways. Unfortunately, though, if you're on PC, if you're on Xbox, you don't have that same uh, ability to do so. But for those of you who do play on PlayStation, that is a pretty easy way to uh, cheese out some free XP for your weapons. So yeah, there you have it. Those are effectively some of the best ways to get the most XP in the easiest and the quickest ways possible. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, or if you just simply enjoyed it, let me know by dropping a like on it. it would be seriously appreciated. And of course, if you're new here, or if you have not already subscribed to the channel, feel free to do so. That way you can always guarantee you are up to date with everything going on in COD. News, updates, class setups, tips, and really everything else in between is right here every single day. And as always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a spicy discount on all Scuff, G Fuel, Gamer Advantage, and Control Freak products. And the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.